Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you see what I see? What's that right there? Let's go find out. We were down here at the creek with the kids earlier and my wife said, hey, look over there. <clears throat> A big old bunch of chicken of the woods. Now, there are three different species of this, um, all edible. One looks like big yellow pancakes hanging off of the tree. This one, I think, is the uh, coniferacola, I believe. The uh, other one that closely resembles this one is the Cincinnatus. Now, the Cincinnatus will be uh, sort of a bright reddish orange right here. Um, but, it, you know, it's pretty close. Uh, the uh, other one, I can't remember, the sulf sulfurous, I believe it is, that looks like pancakes. It doesn't really look like this to me at all. Um, this stuff is edible. It is good. And uh, this is a pretty good cluster of this. Uh, you can see, here's my hand, you know. Um, <clears throat> now, exact on this exact tree last spring when we started hunting mushrooms, this was the first thing that we found. Um, these mushrooms like standing deadwoods, uh, hardwoods, typically. And uh, this thing here's been dead for a while. Um, but anyway, on this side where there's not any now is where we found them last time. Actually, I don't think there is. I didn't walk over here. Now you can actually see where the old ones were from last year, where we found those. Now, typically when you cut these, you'll leave a little bit at the bottom. Um, and I don't know, I've heard that uh, that kind of, maybe some spores will hang around and you'll get some more back. I don't know, but uh, they like trees that are pretty well decomposed. Um, and then they get on here and they help decompose it even further. Guys, yeah, this is a pretty good find. Now, it's called Chicken of the Woods because some people say that it tastes like Chicken of the Woods. I mean, sorry, chicken. Uh, I don't know. I think it tastes like whatever salt and stuff you put on it. Um, it does have the texture of like a chicken strip, and I'll show you here. I'm going to get a piece off of this older one here and show you because I'm not going to harvest this whole thing. I like to leave a little bit. But uh, you can see you can tear it. Let me get my hand around this thing here. Um, and it sort of pulls apart like chicken. You can see in there that, uh, that texture. The way it breaks see how it just kind of pulls apart like a chicken strip <clears throat> personally I think it just kind of looks like maybe a chicken's butt I don't know but anyway stuff's pretty cool uh, I'm gonna kind of show you how I harvest it and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm gonna do with it and I'm not gonna get too in-depth on it and guys if you want to try this uh, do your own research we've got books and things and we look on the internet but um you might want to try a little bit this has to be cooked first because slugs and all kinds of things crawl over this i mean who knows what else um so you typically want to cook mushrooms you know just kind of saute them in a pan a little salt pepper butter whatever you want to put on them um they're pretty good though um we've dehydrated some of this <clears throat> and uh we we will eat some fresh tonight we're gonna cook some on the fire with the kids and dehydrate a little bit more there was another bracket out here that we've already taken in, and uh, it might actually be the Cincinnatus. It was a little bit brighter. I'd have to get a better look at it. Or this here, I wish I would have gotten out here, uh, you know, two, three days ahead of time. Um, but, you know, I didn't have the time. Uh, so this is kind of getting to where it's on its way out. You can see, see how that's kind of turning color there, and, you know, bugs are starting to get into parts of it. Um, but a lot of this is still pretty good and fresh. It has like a rubbery texture to it. And also on the bottom, it has these tiny little micro pores. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, it does not have gills. So now, as far as uh, poisonous lookalikes, there's not really much that looks like chicken of the woods, in my opinion. And I looked at some stuff online, and some people were saying, you know, the chanterelles or the jack o' lanterns. Um, they sort of resemble each other. Not necessarily this. Um, the jack o' lanterns do grow in groups. Um, the uh, chanterelles do not typically you might get like a few in a little cluster but uh you know there's there's differences there too and we'll talk about those uh you know when they start popping up around here too i'll do a video on that too but uh let me uh set my little camera stand up here and i'll kind of show you what i do with this and talk a little bit about you know how i prepare it and cook it there's really not a whole lot to it guys and it's it's pretty good so give me one second here okay like I said, I'm going to leave some of this older stuff here. And a lot of this, like when it gets back towards the uh, 
I guess like the stem of it it gets thicker and a little bit tougher it has a rubbery texture to it some you know say like a maybe a velvety kind of texture and like I said I don't like to take any more than what I need out of the woods and uh, you know I like to leave a little bit because you know heck if it does leave some spores around and we get more of this you know year after year until maybe this tree is completely decomposed and maybe it'll spread somewhere else so yeah, take a little bit leave a little bit you know it's kind of how we do things around here respecting nature and all that so just kind of come in here and cut a little bit out you know and sort of cut it into paddles like this and if you want to get a pretty good look at that uh you can't really see the color that good out here and so this one's starting to kind of fade a little bit it's older but there you go that looks like chicken meat um like i said it looks fairly smooth on the bottom but if you get up close there's some good pores in there so um anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a big old bowl and i'm going to put some salt in it okay so you make like a little salt water now i'm going to use pink himalayan salt because i have a reputation to uphold guys i am super fancy i'm telling you um actually that's just what we got sitting down there in large quantities so i'm gonna uh just kind of soak this and it will get bugs in there and you know don't be discouraged about that you can pull it back and cut it out uh really not a big deal the salt in the water kind of helps draw some of the bugs out okay but you'll just put this in the sink and just spray it off really good with the you know the nozzle in your sink and uh just get all the dirt all there out of there that you can and i just kind of leave it like this and let it soak for a couple hours um, or whenever till i'm getting ready to cook it you can uh put mushrooms in a bowl in the refrigerator in water and they'll hold for two or three days um you know the last video i did with the, the morels they were you know a day old so um, you know, now that I'm seeing these, I'm thinking that uh, it's getting a little bit too warm. So I think my morel hunting for this season is probably over here and where I'm at. Um, and that's probably the only place I'm really going to be looking is around my region. So, um, but anyway, guys, uh, water, salt, soak it in the bowl for a couple hours. Make sure you get it good and clean beforehand and just cut it into strips, you know, like you would uh, chicken, just like long strips or really however you want to do it. Um, and we're going to put some of the dehydrator. We're going to prepare it the exact same way. Um, just instead of cooking it, we're just going to dehydrate it and stick it in a jar. And I do have oxygen absorbers. I'll probably throw some in there too. Guys, uh, if you do that, just take them out of the jar when you want to eat them. Suck them in a little bit of water. Let them rehydrate a little bit. Fry them up. Put them in soup. Whatever you want to do. So these things are pretty good. We like them. This is my wife's favorite so far. Like I said, we've been foraging for mushrooms for uh, a year now um, since as of last month. Um, I'm more partial to the chanterelles. Um, I like the morels pretty good, but the texture's kind of weird. Depends on how you prepare it. So um, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm going to take some more of these off of here, you know, and like I said, I'm going to leave some and uh, throw these guys in a bag and I'm going to carry them back to the house. All right, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, last week we hit over 500 subscribers. Guys, I really appreciate it. That's pretty cool. So, um, like I said, tune in and uh, keep watching. And as the chanterelles start to pop up uh, here, hopefully in a month, maybe, maybe sooner, we'll see how the weather goes. Um, we'll do some videos on those too. And, you know, a few other things that we like to look forward to. And if I find any jack lanterns I'll try to show you the, uh, I guess they're toxic. Um, they give you pretty bad belly aches from what I hear. I've never eaten one, but I'll kind of try to show you the difference if I have any around here to uh, compare. I'm sure I could find some between here and my brother's house. So anyway, guys, uh, Take care, and always remember, protect, provide, prepare, and we'll see you next time.